Is the paid version of in-video AI worth it? I get asked this all the time. I have a media company. We get millions of views every single month. I help small businesses grow. And let's just say I stay up to date with AI video content creation because it's a huge deal. So I want to give my honest opinion on in-video AI and also talk about a new AI video generator on the block, Syllabi, that is the new kid on the block. So I think, honestly, these different video generators have different circumstances, if that makes sense. So if you're looking to make AI generated videos that are like strictly devoted to like AI is creating everything, InVideo is your go-to. Here's a prime example of what you can get from AI. And again, this is completely generated from a prompt and this is for long form video, like YouTube videos. Check this out. Everything is created through AI and there is a voice script reader, but I will say that AI kind of sucks with script and also AI can't move the mouth with humans. Same with the hands. It messes up the hands. Sometimes things just get weird. Like here, let me show you an example here. High pitch drawn out. I don't want to wear this. Please, sweetie, we're running late. See that? How like the context like just isn't quite there. AI is mainly being used for like B-roll right now and stuff because the mouse can't move. Well, essentially there's another Tool that does that is HeyGen, but it's mainly like demonstration videos. So if you're looking to do like long form videos, I think this is the best tool on the market for this. It still blows my mind like to this day that it is capable of doing this. I will say that you do pay for it. So like, is it worth your money? Yes, but it's gonna get expensive because chances are you're gonna have to sit here and have it recreate new scenes because AI, that's just how it works. You know what I mean? So if you're looking to make videos like this, it's gonna cost you some money, but it is the best in video. AI is the best for that. What's also cool is you can also take photos and turn them into videos. Like for example, I needed some clips of a person putting gum in their mouth. So what I did was I had ChatGPT create a photo of a woman putting gum into her mouth and I'm still working on creating this. I need this piece of gum to be white. And all I did was I put the picture in here and it turns it into a video, which is pretty crazy, right? And then also they actually have a text to image as well. See like this piece of gum is white which is better. Then what I did was I put this image into the same tool and it's generating right now. So we'll see what it comes up with. But this tool in itself, you could create amazing B-roll with. All you'd have to do is go to ChatGPT or you could even use the text to clip feature here or text to image feature here. And then you could just turn your images into clips for B-roll of a film. That actually might even be easier. Because what happens is when you create the video within video, like when you create a long form video like this, it's extremely difficult to edit and change. Like you can give it commands to change the video, but it's just not that great. And it'll give you an entirely different video. As far as short form content goes, it's extremely well. It works super well as well. What I've been doing is making AI videos for TikTok shop affiliate. We do a lot of that where we sell products. Cause you guys gotta know the secret sauce to content creation is to create good content, but also sell products along the way. So what I do is I create videos, you know, motivational videos, what have you, and I try to have it to where there's also that it's related to products. Like here's an example. This is a motivational video, or no, this is a video that was done on feeling like burnt out. And I think I was pushing that new product Nero gum with the caffeine in it. Yeah, here's a piece of the gum. Even though I couldn't use that footage, it's still like captivating B-roll. And what it does, is it kind of just creates a bunch of still shots and then does zoom ins on them. And then it'll tend to make one AI generated clip. Like here's the clip right here. You can see there's actual movement. Watch, yeah, see, that was a poor example. But, and then what you can do is you can actually go in there and edit this stuff too, which is cool. You can change the scenes and it's very similar to this new tool called Syllabi. Syllabi is extremely similar and I will say it's a little cheaper and I feel like it's just, I prefer this over in video AI if you're doing short form content. They just make it extremely easy. You choose your scene, you put in your script, you choose your subtitles, and then it just creates it. And it, they have tons of different scenes. Here's another one of me trying to perfect the video on the gum. Chewing on gum can really help your teeth. Just pop the piece of gum this is the still shots it created. It does kind of a similar thing where it creates still still shots. What you can do is you can actually edit them. You can generate motion to each of them. Like if I click on this and I can add motion, but it's 10 credits. Adding motion to every single one of them can get pretty expensive. Now what I tend to do is I'll just download this video and then I'll throw it into a video editor and then I'll kind of like move it. I'll, I'll put motion to it and move it around so it looks like it's moving, but it's actually not. And what's cool is you can just regenerate images. Say if you're not happy, 
Like if I wanted this one, that doesn't even look like a piece of gum. It looks like a popsicle or something. So I had to change it to this one. And you can upload your own media. What I've been tending to do is just upload my own media. Like I'll put product images in there as well. And the in video is extremely similar. You can change it to stock footage to something else. What kind of sucks though is there's different rules on using stock footage right now versus just using AI generated content. Like a lot of people aren't talking about this right now, but like TikTok allows AI generated content, their product affiliate videos, but it doesn't allow stock media. And a lot of the stock media membership websites, they go out and say, you cannot use this in ads. So like we're kind of at the mercy of AI content if you're doing ads. Hopefully that makes sense and sheds a little light on the idea if you're thinking of doing this. I will say you also have to be very careful. Some of these AI video generators are adding music to their content and a lot of people don't know this but you can't just use willy-nilly any kind of music you know what i mean like you have to for like youtube well first of all you can pay for a music subscription and get your own music through like art list or wherever there's a ton of them but you can't just use like random music on a piece of content and then put it on facebook TikTok, and youtube you'll get copyright strict like it's a lot of people don't know that then here's another one that i Being did exhausted mentally foggy or just not like I created this one for some golly gummies. These are going viral right now on TikTok. And what we did was we just edit in some of the images and kind of just add some flair to it. So if I click on edit here, what I can do is I can edit this image and I could regenerate stuff. I can upload some just like product footage from the actual product we're selling. Sorry guys, I'm rambling. Do I think in video AI is worth the money for the paid subscription? I truly do believe it is. If you're creating AI generated long form videos, you're gonna be paying a lot of money you could probably save a lot of time or not a lot of time but a lot of money by using the photo to clip feature let's take a look at that video I was talking about earlier so a person could save a lot of money just by doing this like if you created a lot of good if you had AI create a lot of good images and then you could just create clips out of them then you could actually edit the video yourself I think you're gonna get a much better product and that's coming from someone that publishes good content you know it's a lot of people are publishing this stuff and like thinking it's gonna do well and they're new to this this whole creator scene but it doesn't like I hate to be the bearer of bad news it just doesn't okay let's watch this yeah see like I could use that in a clip or like an ad for gum it's a little weird there at the end it's just like it's like hanging and unnatural but you could just probably regenerate it and try it again so hit me up in the comments let me know like what your status is and what you're looking for out of in video AI chances are I can help you in the comments yeah it's a great tool it's it's probably arguably the best AI video generator right now especially for long form content like the the widescreen but if you're doing reels and stuff it's kind of a different game i would highly suggest syllabi because it just it's a little easier to use it's cheaper again i'll throw one of my affiliate link down below in the description to try it out hit me up in the comments i will see you in the next one peace